Hey everyone, today we're going to be working on the fourth problem of the introductory set from CSES. So let's look right into the problem. So first we're given an array of n integers and we want to modify the array so that it's increasing so that every element is at least as large as the previous element. So we're required to increase the value or you may be you may want to increase the value and what is the minimum number of terms required. So we're given the size of the array and the contents of the array. And we just want to make this array be as big as it needs to be. Or like, we just want to increase it. And the number of integers is actually the thing we want to worry about here rather than the size. Because this can fit in an LL and we can do an O of N solution. This, it's a little sketchy. So let's think about how we might want to do an O of N solution on this problem. Well, we can see that when we want to make something at least as large as the previous one, and we want to make it as minimum as possible, we just want to make it as large. We don't want to make it larger. There's no point. We're just using more than we need to. So in this case, we'd want to make the 2 a 3 and the 1 a 5. And if you add up the differences, 3 minus 2 is 1 and 5 minus 1 is 4, it actually makes our answer. And that makes sense because we would increase it the amount of times it would take to get to the next number. So this makes a really easy solution. We just take the last number and then we compare it to the next number or the number we're at and then we just subtract it and add it to our answer and we just output the answer at the end. So with that idea for an algorithm out of the way, let's go right into coding it. So first, let's make a directory for the problem. New directory for increasing array. And then we make a new USCO template called main. All right. So the solution is pretty small, or the sample input anyway. And I don't think we're going to need to test much other than that. So let's just get rid of all the sample uh, standard in and standard out made for USICO. And then let's look at, uh, we have a long, long inch or a long, long inch n. And then we have a uh, vector of long integers we're going to call x. And then so for uh, everything in n, we just x, or no, we need a temporary variable too. And then we take in t and then we x dot pvt, just standard. Uh, startup things. So now we have all our data and now we want to actually go through it. So actually with this idea we don't actually need to have a vector and go through it. What we can do is we can just compare it. So we're just going to make a long long answer as well. So what we have is we're not even going to worry about the vector. What we're going to do is we're going to take in t and then we're going to have um, we're actually going to make this start at 1. So we already have a t, and then um, this will be the last one as well. So we have answer equals 0. Um, okay, so we're going to start out with last, right? And then what we want to do is we want to add ants plus equals last minus t. Or if last is less than t or greater than t we want to do ants plus equals last minus t and if it's not then what we want to do is we don't need to change the last up here remember because last is already going to be the same number uh, or like the maximum number that we need but if it's not then we need to set last equal to the value of t so it works out. And then at the end, all we need to do is see out ants, I believe. Let's just look, look through this for a second. And yeah, that makes sense. Yep, okay, so let's just try it out. We press play, copy the input so we can paste it in. And we don't get an output. So that means that something probably went wrong. And when this happens, what we should probably do is start from where it could go wrong. So for 
i is less than n, and plus or equals, and then last equals t. So we're not even hitting here, and we shouldn't have a forever loop, because that shouldn't happen. So we have last, we take in last, which should be 2. 2 is not greater, or 2 should be, or 3 should be greater than 2, so then and plus equals 1. And then we go through again, um, and then we take in a new value of t. Is it because of i plus plus? That shouldn't be it. Uh, or we need to copy and paste. Yeah, that's not it. Um, let's go through and debug. Sort and debug. Um, so we're debugging over here now. So we actually need to grab this and Okay, I just wanted to make sure, so I'm going to delete all this old debugging stuff. n is a large number, and that's probably because we forgot to take an n. That makes sense. But then we can just get rid of this game, and then just restart the program. Okay, so now we paste it in, and we get 5, which is our answer. So let's submit it, and since we already worked in standard in and standard out, we just drag it across, put it in main, and then we see that our solution indeed worked out, even though with that little hitch where we forgot to input n. So that's been it for this episode of CSES Introductory Problems, Increasing the Array. If you'd like to see more, comment, like, subscribe, and if you have a better solution, just comment down below. I might make a video on it. So, see y'all later.